<laughs> Hi, my name is Al from Stat Medical Devices. This is Stat Tourniquet. So, as you can see, it's based off of a zip tie platform. The reason being, in an MCI situation, people have a little bit more familiarity with this type of design. When your motor skill is impaired, this is the way to go. All you have to do is insert the tail through the mouth, cinch down. Now, if you're going to do a self application, all you have to do is have the body instructions, which you see here, is apply high and tight until bleed stops and markers. Keep that on the outside of your body. This right here is a release lever. So all you have to do is pull towards your heart to get maximum leverage. Now the difference between this and your normal ordinary zip tie is that this is made out of a proprietary blend that actually has stretches, causing more circumferential pressure. So all you have to do is put it down. Now with your normal ordinary zip tie, you would just stop here. You wouldn't be able to include blood flow, but with our tourniquet, since it has stretch properties, you're able to stretch it, causing that circumferential pressure to include blood flow. You don't have to worry about locking it. It locks itself. Right here is a tail holder that you could put this through to cover the safety release lever. But also, this is very difficult to just release on its own. You could jam it, whatever. It has three locking systems in here, so you don't have to worry about that. To release it for a trained professional, you have to jam your finger in between the strap and the release lever and pull this way. So I'll show you really quick. And you might hear, when there's a lot of pressure, you'll hear a click. Sorry, I'll, I'll do it tighter just so you can hear. So you hear like a little small click, you'll know it's been uh, taking uh, some pressure off. If you're, look, if you're into like conversions or whatnot, this is easy to let off. So let's say we put the bandage on, I want to check to see if there's an arterial blood, uh, arterial blood flow. All I have to do is just press it once. I'll see if it's been an arterial damage. I can cinch it back down if it is. Right here. So this is based for an MCI situation. We have a timer right here. This keeps track of time for one hour. So initially, you'll see it's all white. Once I press that tab, it'll start to say on right away, that middle window right there. After a half hour, that blue mark appears. After an hour, that blue mark appears. So this is just really quick, just in case you uh, don't have a lot of time. The civilians being, uh, it's a mass casualty situation. You could cinch it down, press the timer. You could also use it as a, pri you could prioritize your victims if you need to. But um, it's just a quick little indicator to see how long the tourniquet's been on. If it's been before a half hour, after a half hour, after an hour, before an hour. And that's about it. The uh, tourniquet could be stowed from the finger loop. As you can see over there, they could be preloaded on a carabiner for a quick rapid response. And uh, hang that in the back of a car. Hang it in the back of a car. Um, you can get creative with it. There's many different options. It does come packaged usually like this. So um, what we've seen for undercover, they can put this in the back of their pocket. It looks like a can of skull. You would never know the difference. And it's uh, maybe it's pretty put your, small. Maybe compact. put your rubber gloves in there. Well, in the we middle. do if you need to. We are a custom kit company. This pair of gloves, we can offer it for an additional cost, pre-wrapped inside here. So let's say an officer has this in their back pocket or in, in their cargo pants or whatnot. There's a victim on the ground, they don't want to get blood on them, obviously that's the training. They could rip that out, put the gloves on, attend to the victim, cinch it down, and you're good to go. So that's it. It's that tourniquet. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters, and especially the shift supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better.